just had this Jeep pull up. What the heck? Oh crap, I'm gonna have to reverse. I think I'm stuck. Hey everyone, this is Steven aka Listy from Kenya and you're watching the Oh My Gosh. Give me a kiss. Dude, this is so cool. What the heck? Yo, Malia is straight freaking out right now. <laughs> Here, I'm open the window for you so you can really see it. <gasps> oh, my. oh my god, it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> That's supposed to be cold. What do you think it's gonna feel like, Florida out there? It's like a winter wonderland. You know who's never seen snow? This little girl right here. She's like, what is that? What is that white stuff? <laughs> oh, this is awesome. She's loving it already. Technically, this is spring break for us. We decided to go up north. I wanted to share with my family our new place in New York that they have never seen in person. Did do some vlogs a couple of weeks ago kind of showcasing this house that I got and we fixed up. I'm bringing Malia there. Tiffany is still coming. We had to take two separate cars. Max is with her, Nicole, which is Max's girlfriend. Do not eat yellow snow, whatever you do. You like the snow? You like the snow? We're gonna meet back up with them in the morning. It is pretty cold. We're not quite in New York State yet. We're almost, uh, yeah, we're in West Virginia right now, real close to the Pennsylvania, West Virginia border, I think. Come on. Actually, I have no idea where we're at, but I know we're in West Virginia. Luna's all full of snow. Did you like the snow? Did you like the snow? Oh, you want to you want to keep going? You want to keep going in the snow? Oh gosh! <laughs> Seventy something degrees when we left Florida this morning. Twenty nine degrees <sighs> Fahrenheit. But my birthday is coming up. I thought this would be a great way to spend our birthday. Well, my birthday in a freaking blizzard. Legit, a blizzard right now. <sighs> <laughs> I'm so cold. But it's pretty, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's almost three o'clock. But yeah, that, there's the temperature right there. 28 degrees. Fayetteville? Uh, I don't know. But yeah, that's where we're at. I'm sure there's going to be somebody here in the comments. I know exactly where you're at. So cool you were in my hometown, Omar. Malia has never seen the new house. We're going to take her to see it. And Tiffany as well have no idea when tiffany's gonna meet up with us she was so tired at like 10 o'clock so she pulled over on the side of the road i wanted to stick together but we weren't able to do so it's gonna be a fun adventure you're invited to come but oh you're allergic to my farts <laughs> found this hat my head was starting to get cold luna loves the snow by the way she is loving it you want to go dumpster diving no no Look, look at all the cool dumpsters out here. We're gonna go dumpster diving in the blizzard. Wasn't really planning on going dumpster diving during a blizzard. Whoa, let's take a peek. Hopefully there's no raccoons in there. Huh. Yeah, at least the snow is preserving whatever's in there. I still got freaking shorts on, look at this. Look at that. That's how Florida I am. I even know it's gonna be snowing. It's spring! Time for the seat warmers. Wow, so I'm a little worried because there's no rest stops. The only place it was remotely close was where I just showed you that parking lot where we were trying to go dumpster diving, but they haven't cleaned any of these roads. I mean, thank God I have a tank of a truck. I do have it in four wheel drive right now. That doesn't mean that you can't still slide around. I see other cars on the road and they're they're going about as slow as I am, so they're taking it pretty serious. Ooh, I was sliding around a little bit. Uh, if you've ever slid around in the snow, it almost feels like that feeling when you get like a wind storm that pushes you when you're on the like the freeway. I have no idea where we're at right now, but the snow keeps coming down and it's really chunky. Uh, please don't scratch my truck. What the heck? I'm pretty sure this doesn't go anywhere. Oh crap, I'm gonna have to reverse. I think I'm stuck. Where's that pole at? There's a pole there somewhere. Oh gosh, this weather sucks bad. Okay, I see it right there, it's a pole. This is insane. Oh my goodness. I'm really curious what my truck is gonna look like. Just a couple of hours of sleeping. Uh, hopefully it's not too bad. I don't have anything to clean my truck too. Hopefully this, oh gosh. 
hopefully that'll fly off because I got a lot of stuff back there, tools and things. The snow is beautiful. I, I have to I have to say that. It, it is very beautiful. Okay, Luna's gonna really experience. Whoa! Oh, I almost just busted my ass right now. But let's see how Luna handles this now. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh, you like the snow? We gotta get you some little boots because your feet are gonna get cold. Come on, go poopy, go poopy. She has not taken a caca yet. Okay, just don't go too far. Might be some coyotes out there. Just talked to Tiffany, she's just waking up. She's about three, four hours behind me. I think by the time I sleep a little bit, she'll probably be caught up. Just had this Jeep pull up. What the heck? What's he doing? Might have to make a run for it. Maybe he's just cleaning up his Jeep. Maybe the workers come real early in the morning. There's another car coming. Maybe they're about to gang up on us. There's a grocery store over there, so I'm thinking maybe the workers are kind of arriving a little early. Good thing I have this just to cover up my eyes. They really come in handy. This is why I love beanies. This person's out there with an umbrella. <laughs> that ain't going to help you much. Good morning, fam. So I just woke up. We slept about maybe like four hours. This is what it looks like outside. Whoa, it's so bright. Hey, uh, call your mom and uh, tell her that we're okay. Who wants to use that thing right there? I didn't even know there was freaking mountains outside. Look at this. Nice. Oh, so the roads aren't much better over here. And it looked like a car went off the road. What was that, a Tesla? Yeah, it sure did. Those are all wheel drive too. Can't open the door? <laughs> Is that over? I had the same problem. Oh. Uh. This is bad, look at this. All full of ice. Oh my gosh. Looks like my truck has fungus growing on it. What the heck is going on here? It's, it's like pure ice. Just made it to the new house. Malia has never seen it, especially for Luna. Tiffany is about 30 minutes behind me. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of prepare the house. Being that we don't stay here very much, there's no sense in keeping the heat on to a comfortable setting. So yeah, it's like 50 degrees Fahrenheit in there. Just enough to not waste so much propane and also so the pipes don't freeze. Always important to keep the heat on. Wow, one of my neighbors plowed my driveway. Really nice of him. Luna, are you even ready for this? Are you even ready? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Ah. Oh, where's my snow shovel? I should probably clean this up here. <laughs> I forgot where I put the snow shovel. Well, it's not so bad from last time. Before, um, yeah, before it was like a foot, foot or so more. What do you think, Luna? What do you think of your new backyard? You like your new backyard? Yeah? I know. Well, she wore her Crocs. You're such a goofball. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to shovel with my foot. Dang it! <laughs> Look at Luna. She loves the snow. It doesn't even bother her. My ankles are so cold. Uh. <sighs> okay. I think the door's frozen shut. Oh, dude, the door is frozen shut. Oh, there it goes. That's never happened to me. Oh, wow, it's so nice in here still. A lot of snow. Luna, what do you think of your new house? Oh, we should definitely take our shoes off. It doesn't feel so bad in here. Let me see what I got the thermostat. Yeah, 57 degrees. Bam. So, let's turn this up to like 68. Yeah, it smells nice too. We were so caught up with work and stuff. I mean, I, I didn't get to take the time to appreciate things like that. But I mean, it didn't smell the greatest. It kind of smelled like cigarettes. I have to show you what I didn't show you last time. 
so this is the bathtub and we ran out of paint and it looks like crap but I mean everything else looks really good I had to get an extra extra container of paint we weren't able to paint the rest of the bathroom because this was still drying this set was like an almond colored like set the only thing that I didn't get to really finish but we completely redid this whole house if you don't mind used furniture you can get some fantastic deals on Facebook marketplace and offer up too. Uh, yeah I got a majority of this furniture on Facebook marketplace I want to say $200 for this sofa love seat combo I got a lot of neat things for us to do too as a family, some games on that table. I got like a ping pong set. I got this, I'll just have to show you. It's pretty awesome. Malia's out there playing in the snow all by herself. It's the funniest thing. I saw you playing out there. Yeah, I was playing out there. Right, you're wearing my shoes now since I got some <laughs> snow boots on. Can't find my snow shovel, but I got the second best thing, a broom. Gotta make it work. Broom doesn't work that great. Ugh, where's my snow shovel? Look at Malia go. Shoveling some snow. Did manage to find the snow shovel. It was buried under a foot of snow here on the on the deck or front porch. Isn't that fun? Imagine doing that every single day. Okay, we gotta put some salt down too. This is the salt that my cousin was trying to eat because we didn't have any. No, Luna, don't eat that. <laughs> Luna's like all full of snow and she's like does not care. Oh, 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 it's blowing everywhere. Pretty nasty out. Okay, now you gotta make a little path. I know. Well, there's still one step left. Yeah. Look at it. It's buried. I gotta tell you a really funny story that happened to me last time I was here with my cousin. All my windows were covered with pure ice. So instead of like scraping the ice off, my cousin was like, hey, why don't we just get a bucket of hot water? So he starts putting this bucket of hot water all over my icy windows, which is pretty effective. We get in the truck, go somewhere, come back a little bit later. We park my truck, my cousin gets out and I hear him take the nastiest fall and my truck sits really high off the ground. So I mean, a fall can be devastating. He's like crying, he's like, oh my I'm hurt. I go run around the corner to see what was what was wrong and I bust my ass too So we're both laying in a sheet of ice that happened to be our fault because we were using all this water to melt my truck to begin with well all that water created all this ice both just like laid on the on the concrete laughing It was actually funny. We didn't get seriously hurt or injured or anything, but yeah, it was good make a snowman Yeah. Right now Yeah. Uh, Okay I gotta get some gloves on. <laughs> There's so much snow out here. <laughs> you know I got a snowsuit for you. Really? Yeah. Where's the ball? Where's the ball? Where's the ball? <laughs> oh, she's gonna find a stick. <laughs> she loves the snow. <laughs> she got her in her mouth. Okay. <laughs> oh, she can't find it. <laughs> Where's the ball? Where'd the ball go? Where'd it go? <laughs> okay, the kids, well, the rest of the kids and Tiffany are going to be here any second now. Look at this. Oh. Whoa. Check out this cool game that I got on Amazon. I think we're getting pretty settled in here in the new place. Got some sheets finally. I've never slept on that bed. Tonight's gonna be the very first night. I'll let you know if it feels comfy. They are playing Spring Hillopoly in upstate New York. So we did bring that. I just learned something and I didn't know that. that these are things that have to do with like our area. Yeah. You know, like the wildlife survival sanctuary, Delta Woods Park, Wikiwachi Springs. You got the mermaids. <laughs> Are you guys gonna do a late night snowball fight? So the mini editing station is being used. Was editing a video last night and I was so tired. I didn't really sleep much on this trip. I mean, who could sleep good in a car, you know? But anyways, as I was editing a video last night, I just, and it was at 8.30. I mean, I'd never go to sleep at 8.30. It was so early, but I have to say, I mean, maybe it's just a combination of the bed being comfortable and me just being really tired but it was so 
comfortable last night. So that's the good news. The bad news is when we woke up, we looked at the thermostat. It was pretty cold in the house. Thought one of the kids got hot. I've noticed that the other side of the house does get a little warmer than this side of the house. So I thought to myself, maybe it was a little too hot being at 70 degrees, but that was not the case. My heat is not working in the house. And if you live up north, you know that this can be a serious problem and risk for a lot of damage in your house because pipes can freeze up, things like that. Uh, not very clean anymore. Hey, what's going on, guys? Boston eating a piece of ham over there. <laughs> I'm going to show you how cold it is in the house. It's 55 degrees Fahrenheit. It seems to be holding that temperature, which isn't bad. It hasn't gone up or down. I took apart the... I mean, I, as much as I possibly could, the furnace, the pilot is on. I mean, everything is functioning. I think it has something to do with the blower motor or maybe something electronic like a circuit board or something, but you do not have heat and this is bad. I usually like to fix things by myself, but this is something that I just do not understand. So I called somebody and that's the other problem. There's not a lot of places, but I did manage to get a hold of somebody and they're coming in like three hours. So I'm just hoping that it's not something like an exotic part like a weird circuit board that they have to order and wait a few days because it is cold in here. Might may need to get some space heaters or something. And, uh, but hey, we have heat now. It's climbing up again. Supposedly it was this little part that hooks up to the, the blower and it was loose and it's not making as much noise as it did before. I mean, it was a terrible like rah, and it was that part. Glad this got fixed while we were here. It's hoping nothing else happens. Whoa. Look at all the snow. What are you doing, Boston? Eating snow. Eating the snow? <laughs> Yummy. Lake Erie snow. Yeah. I, I feel like I remember them being, I remember that. Yeah. I thought it was a pool though. Is it a pool? There is an indoor pool. Is there? Yep. I thought it was like, yeah. I had a dream I was in there one time. Where we're at right now is called Fredonia State or SUNY. S-U-N-Y, Fredonia. It's a college. Where we live, we get a little bit more snow. This is where we used to come and come sledding because there's like a nice giant hill right over there. But as you can see, there's not a ton of snow on it. I think we should still give it a whirl though. Maybe we could go sideways like over there. Saucers, I got that from Boston right there. Remember always losing your gloves here? I remember we got our, our car key stuck in the car one time here. Oh, you remember that? Yeah. Remember the cop had to come? Completely forgot about it. You got a good memory. I used to have a caravan. It's an old school like beat up minivan. And we were out here and the keys got stuck in there one day and we had to get the campus security or police to like Slim Jim. I guess it's pretty popular here. Do you remember that? But we were stuck out here in the cold for a while. Being that the snow's kind of dried up, it might be even better because there's a lot of ice. <laughs> what the hell was that? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Hey, Boston, watch out! Watch out! Yeah, we used to go all the way. It'd be so much like ice here that it would take you all the way to the parking lot. No, a sculpture? No, it was like a really big. It just snow. I was like this tall. Just piled up. Oh, it's called a snowbank. Snowbank. Well, I mean, not a snowbank, but that's where they push the snow off to. Yeah, it was on the edge here. It's usually from the parking lot. <laughs> Sorry. There you go. Just keep using the same spot. All right, there you go. Oh. Oh. Let's go backwards. <laughs> Okay. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> I don't get it. There's like a ton of snow right here, but there's nothing over there. I <laughs> know. <laughs> yeah, you need a snowsuit. Okay, so I have a challenge for the kids. We're in our old neighborhood. I want you to point out the house that we used to live in. Think you could do that? I think I could, yeah. We'll yeah? I'm gonna roll the windows down. I think I can tell what street it's on. These houses look familiar? It looks familiar to me. 
That's the house right I there. I was about to say, isn't that it? <laughs> That's it right there. Oh. Right there? Yeah. Which one? This one? one? Six? This yeah. One. The one on the right. Am I tripping? Well, the only reason I know that is because you showed me so many pictures of how you redid it. Yeah. Oh. Isn't that cool? I, didn't I you make a it video It looks exactly the same, too. Omar, d didn't you make a video of that house? Um, yeah. Of me standing in front of it. Yeah. And you know who lives across the street, Max? Carlos? Your friend, Carlos. Macho. And Felix, they still live there? you should go knock on their door. <laughs> Do they still live there? Yeah. Oh, down the window. I guess they don't live here anymore. <laughs> but this is our old neighborhood. There's a lot of old houses. It's crazy because, like, you know, like the last time you seen them, I just uh, was a little kid. Do you know what I paid for that house that like, we used to live in? So I bought the house in 2005. Take a guess at what I paid for it. 2005. Twenty thousand. Uh, close, thirty thousand. Can you remember Grandma's house? Right there. Where? That's Grandma's old house right there. I, I swear, that's it right there. That is Grandma's. Go take a picture of it and send it to her. Be like, hey, look, I'm in front of your old house. No. And then that was Betty's house. Remember Betty? And Denise lived back behind oh, yeah, Betty. Oh, so it is. Yeah. So we're into the next day and today is my birthday. I'm 40 years old today. I have a bittersweet feeling about today. For one, I'm not 20 years old anymore, unless you count turning 20 twice as being a thing. But I've always felt like I'm always young. You know what I mean? Like just yesterday I was 19 years old and now I'm 40. And then there's the sweet part that I'm getting older. It's a blessing to get older. So I am thankful for that. Thank you for all the love on social media that I've gotten today. I'm just gonna celebrate my 40th birthday this entire week, maybe the entire month of March. Yeah. All right, fam, gotta go for now before we leave. Give me a kiss.